How does an MRI work? In this video, I'm going to tell you. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience. I just had a patient who was a young uh, child, about 12 years old, very, very smart child. And we needed to possibly get an MRI to determine if they had a tear in a tendon. And they had an x-ray and they wanted to know, well, how does the MRI work? And I was trying to explain it that you go inside a little tube and there's different densities of water based on the tissue. And muscle has more water than tendon, for example. And it's not an x-ray. The MRI is a magnet and it'll flip the actual water molecules. And I asked the, the young child, what is water made of? And she said, H2O, so this is a smart kid. So I said, water has a positive side and a negative side, just like a battery. And what ends up happening is it flips. The, so the speed with which the water molecules actually flip is gonna give us an image. The computer gives us an image. Well, the kid thinks, or the kid said, well, is it going to flip me? Does it flip me? And I said, no, it doesn't flip you. And she goes, I don't understand. Well, the parent actually interjected and said, well, here's how it works. If you had a bucket full of, of like golf balls and the golf balls had a red top and a white bottom and the, the magnet flipped the, the actual golf balls, would the bucket flip? And the child said no. And I thought, wow, that is the greatest analogy ever. And I asked the parent, I said, did you just invent that or did you learn that somewhere? Where did you hear that analogy? And the parent said, I just made it up. Just right on the spot like that. And I thought, wow. So I told the parent, I'm stealing that, that information because that's a great analogy because patients have questions about what is an MRI. And that's exactly how an MRI works, is the bone, the tendons, the ligaments, the joints, the muscles, they all have different densities of water. This water molecule is polar, meaning it has a positive and negative side. And so when the magnet, that's what an MRI is, it's basically a big magnet, and it'll attract the negative side or the positive side, and it'll flip the water molecules, and then based on how fast they flip and how, how much they flip, it comes up with an actual picture. And that's how an MRI works. If you thought this video was interesting, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, ask in the comments section below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I also have a Patreon account, so if you have any questions that you want to ask and you'd like to contribute to this account, become a Patreon and I'll be make a video just for you.